Hey everyone, it's, uh, it's David here, uh, just making a, another video here. Hopefully this won't be any longer than maybe 10, 20 minutes. Uh, just want to show everyone some of the uh, some of the things I've seen recently here. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. This last night, uh, yesterday, I've seen quite a few things around the skies here. Um, actually, this is probably the most that I've seen, um, since March 24th of this year. Um, sometimes we'd see like ebbs and flows. Sometimes you'd see a lot of things in the sky and sometimes you wouldn't see that many. Uh, but, uh, yesterday, the 25th, which happened to be my birthday as well, <laughs> uh, we, uh, my wife and I started seeing a lot of different uh, objects all over the sky. About three, about three to four hours before sunset, um, all the way until sunset, and then after sunset as well. At nighttime, we saw a lot of different things. I mostly just took video uh, and pictures of things um, in the daytime and not at, not at night, um, because nighttime is kind of, it's kind of too dark. It's kind of hard to see what we're filming and, um, it does, just doesn't come out right. It's hard to, hard to see. And, um, also if you take too many, uh, videos or photos at night of these objects, which the one, objects at night seem to be a little different than the ones in the daytime. The ones in the daytime are more white and shiny, most usually, and, and the ones I've seen at nighttime are different colors, red, green, white, uh, various colors. And uh, usually if you take videos of those or if you look at them too long, they'll start coming towards your area, towards your, your neighborhood or your house, Just and then there'll be a, quite a few of them just kind of hovering around, swarming around your area, and it just gets kind of annoying, and eventually you'll start seeing, like, drones. Uh, I'm not sure why the drones come out when I see those things, and when, I, when I'm when i taking videos or photos too much, or even just observing the thing, objects at night too much, uh, I'll start seeing drones, like, not around my house, the drones will come, like, right up to my house. They'll come up to the back patio, the front patio, and they're really high quality drones. They're like, they move very quick. They stop on a dime. They're very big, um, about, I don't know, anywhere from maybe two to three feet, I, I don't know, in diameter. And uh, yeah, they're, and it's just kind of annoying seeing those things. I don't know why there's a connection between seeing those objects at night and observing them and then the drones. I, I don't understand the connection, you know. Um, I, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't I don't get it really. But that's exactly what happens. We start to see those things. And it's weird because I know those things that we're seeing at night are, are spiritual in nature as well. Uh, not the drones. I don't I don't know. Maybe the drones are military or something and um uh, but um the objects at night are spiritual, and I think the ones in daytime are as well because, well, the ones in the daytime are look shiny, and they're kind of white. And if you take close, if you take close-ups on them, they always you can never get a clear picture. It just looks fuzzy, like light. That's what it looks like. And the ones at night, um, I think those are spiritual in nature too because when you start to look at them from far away. It, they could be miles and miles away from where you are, like maybe even towards, you know, downtown or wherever. And you're looking at them like you could be peeking at the thing through your window, you know, through your bedroom window with the lights off. And out of all the millions of homes in San Antonio, it will notice that you're looking at it if you look at it, stare at it too long and it'll come towards you. And that's how I know it's spiritual in nature because... It, it wouldn't make sense, you know, any other way because there, there's no way it would know 
that you're observing it from from that far uh, from that far away. It doesn't make any sense. So it's got to be spiritual in nature. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I, actually, I forgot to mention. You know, like always, be in Christ. Um, Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ is the only way to enter heaven and go to heaven. There's no one in goes to the Father except by Him. Um, all of this stuff is great, but you know it's interesting. But it doesn't mean anything without Christ. So find yourself, you know, some videos. Uh, study your Bible. I mean, there's not really any excuse nowadays with the, the internet and the access you have to information and uh, good teachers uh, on YouTube videos or uh, whatnot. You know. Uh, there's an amazing amount of information for, for you to be saved. It's, it's just ridiculous. I don't have to get into it. I mean, if you know how to type in to a search box in Google, then you can be saved. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Just do your research, you know, uh, study the Bible, um, get with people who are, who are Christians and uh, do what you need to do to, to do your part. Um, okay, saying that, I'll go ahead and start here so the video doesn't have to be too long. Um, there's some, some are audios, I mean, sorry, some are videos and some are images. So I don't remember which ones were which. I've got two files here. I've got this one and this one. And um, some of them I'll play the audio on some of them and some of them I won't. I don't know if you'll be, actually you probably won't be able to hear the audio on some of these, so I'll just kind of mute it and talk over them. Um, but let me see, here we go. Here's the first one. So this is an image, and this was one of the first images I caught yesterday, uh, about three hours from the sun going down. This is a corner of my house here, and I started noticing them. I looked up and start seeing this object here. Now, we have it. Um, yeah, it's hard to see this one. This one is kind of hard to see. But it's not an airplane. I have I have flight paths. I have an international airport not too far from here. And one of the flight paths come over or near our house all the time. And we also have the military around here. So I know the military planes. I used to be in the Marines. I, I know military aircraft. I know, I know. Uh, I'm very interested in air, aircraft in general. I fly all the time, so I, I know what what looks out of the norm, uh, out of the ordinary. And uh, these objects that we're seeing are, are definitely not normal. Let me see. Here's a video. Let me mute this. You can see this object here. So yeah, this is when like three of them started coming out. So, and they they crossed, uh, they were crossing each other and they were just flying all over the place. Like aircraft control would not allow this. And they weren't drones. They were, uh, they were definitely, they were not drones. These were, these were not drones. Um, you can see one here, you can see one here and there's one right here. One, two, three. Sometimes I think there was even more in the sky at the, at the time, and they came, kind of intersected each other. Here, let me see. Yeah, I think they intersected before I took the video. All right, let me see this one here. I'll show you the three objects again here. So here's one, two, three from that video. There's three objects at the same time. I'll play it again real quick. I think it's this one. You can see that one. It's flying over, and then you got this one. And then you got this one. This one kind of came out of the other one. Or they intersected each other somehow. 
Let me see here. Um, there's a video here. Oh, here's one, another object. I've got a bunch of them. They just, somebody's showing you a bunch of, I mean, it was just like nonstop. It was one after another. There must have been 20 or 30 of these things just flying all over the place. another we went to walk our dog around the neighborhood and we started seeing these um, all over I was like this is like I said this is the most I've ever seen since um, March 24th I mean I've, I've seen them quite a bit in different objects even different colors than this and stuff um, but uh, since March 24th, but this today was like the most I've seen since that time. It's like, <laughs> it's like something just started coming through here. I think that um, that veil is thinning, like people are talking about. The veil is thinning and the child's about to be born. And just like Revelation 12, and uh, when, like, when a woman is in uh, is in labor, and the uh, she's become dilated, and uh, that 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 uh, I don't know what that membrane is thinning, and you know people are starting to be able to see more and more of these things of a spiritual nature. Um, it's it's amazing the, how it's starting to combine the physical and the spiritual. And again, if if you were to just look at it, you'd be like, "Well, that's an airplane," you know. But I know I know the airplanes in the area. It's not an airplane. It's definitely not an airplane. And you get close ups on it. And I even have a very good um, Nikon camera, and it's just always the same. You can never get a clear picture of these things anyway. No matter what kind of camera you have, it always looks blurry. It's never it's never clear. Um, so here's an example of an airplane. This is near my house. See this? And this is very far away. And I got a very good clear picture of it. Again, I've taken, I've shown these pictures uh, as well before. It, these are airplanes around our area. It's it's very easy to see the airplanes. It's it's distinctive. You can, you can tell right away. They moved very slow too. Like sometimes they, they could move fast if they wanted to, but most of the time they move like, um, I guess it would be similar to like the movement of a blimp. Like a blimp moves um, pretty slow, right? That's like the movement it looks like to me. And it looks like the way it floats in the air is just, uh, it's wild. Like I will have my hand perfectly still and the thing will still be kind of like moving around in space. It's, it's, it's really wild. But yeah, it moves as slow as like a blimp would move across the sky. And it's kind of cylinder shape, as you can see. Or the classic you know, cigar shape or whatever they say. I've pointed these things out to my neighbors. Um, most of them don't want to hear it. Um, there's a couple that will listen. Um, maybe one, uh, one out of the bunch will start to think, you know, this is, you know, this is something I need to pay attention to, and it's important. But um, 
oh, this photo was um, taking a picture of like around this, uh, the sun. Like I just noticed, me and my wife noticed how when you look towards the sun, it just looks really smoky and gray and kind of kind of weird. Like towards the sun, it's all dark around the sun and uh, just kind of grayish cloud coming around this, uh, around this huge grayish grayish smoky area around the sun but you look towards opposite of the setting sun and it's all blue sky which is another odd thing yeah these things were just everywhere i mean the whole time we we're walking our dog and coming back and on the patio they were it was ridiculous they were just everywhere non-stop all different directions. No sound, no smoke coming out of there, just kind of hovering, hovering there. No, no exhaust, no, no, no nothing. I think I got some close ones on this next file folder here. Let me show you a, a picture real quick. See, this is this is what it looks. Every no matter how close you get, like how how good you think the image is gonna be, it always ends up looking something like this. You're thinking, oh, I can get it now. I can see exactly what it's going to be now. <laughs> it's like, it's just this this point of light or just something odd, you know. Just, it's just always the same. No matter how good the picture I think is going to get, it's going to be like that. It's, it's, it's because it's, I believe it's light. It's... It's not of this dimension. Yeah, every time. Um, here's some more pictures, uh, videos here. Yeah, this is when I was, uh, it was getting darker and the objects were just like right over, right over our neighborhood. <laughs> and the sun was setting, getting close. This is when the sun was getting lower on the horizon. another one like I said there must have been 20 or 30 of them probably more I just you know you can only look up so much you know and uh, you see how this one kind of shines a little bit shimmers off of the uh, sunlight there but mostly it's white if you try and get a close-up no matter where you are you're going to see the same thing just a it, it looks like light there's no real object solid object there that you can take a photo that you can take a photo of you're going to see the same thing every every time no matter what camera you use no matter what how you think how good you think the image is going to be it's always the same But yeah, like I was saying, I, I show people these things in my neighborhood. And what I think I found out since this whole thing started with me and my wife in March is people are going to see whatever they want to see. You know, if they see an airplane and that's all they want to see, they're going to see an airplane. If they see a drone, they're going to see a drone. If they see a star, 
then they're going to see a star. Like I was on the, uh, I just came back, my wife and I came back from a, we went on a cruise uh, to Alaska from Vancouver, British Columbia, and we went down to Hawaii too. Uh, but on the cruise, um, on the cruise to um, uh, Alaska on the second night, there was a lot of activity uh, on the deck and a lot of people were on the deck looking around of the ship. And, and I was like, I, as soon as I got up on the deck, I started noticing all the different objects in the sky. It was nighttime. And, um, there was, there was uh, this one object that would move fast and then slow and then kind of change direction, you know, slightly change in direction. And I was like, I told a guy next to me, I go, I go, look at that. I was like, that is interesting. Huh? I go, look at that. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah. I was talking to this other guy over on uh, such and such deck over here. And he was telling me it was the International Space Station. And my jaw just kind of dropped and hit the floor. And I was just like, you got to be kidding me. This guy is looking at an object which is moving fast and slow and, and kind of changing direction. And he... He told, and another guy next to him told me it was the International Space Station, and he completely believed it. And I'm, 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 I'm like thinking, I've seen, I've seen, the, I've, I've been look observing stuff in the sky for 20 years. I've always been a, like an, an astronomer, uh, amateur astronomer kind of, kind of person, and I've had refract, refracting and reflecting telescopes and all, the whole nine. And I've seen the ISS. It moves. It moves very quickly. It's a it's a it's a very uh, small point of light. It moves very quickly, and it's very steady, and it, it's it's gone very quick. It goes very quick, and what we were seeing was much brighter, closer, moving fast and slow, and moving in different directions. So it's amazing to me. I just I just could not believe it. I want to show you real quick uh, what I'd seen before. So this was back in March, and I, I've made a video on this as well, but I just wanted to show you this is one of the closest pictures I've got of this object, of these objects. And it looks something like that or like the point of light, like I was saying. It's never... It's like they almost try and look like an airplane sometimes, because if you look at them far away, it'll have like features that look similar to an airplane, but it's it's not. It's, it's an object of of light, and uh, you might be asking me like, well, why don't I send in? This is from March as well. Same things. Um, you might be asking, why don't I send in my photos to Mr. BB333 or Sky Watchers or whatever? Those guys are just gatekeepers, folks. These guys are the same as like Alex Jones or any of these other clowns. They're, you might as well be sending your pictures and videos into the government in Washington, D.C. and saying, you know, here you go. You know, take, take a look at this, do whatever. So, yeah, it's... That's not my thing. I just, um, you got to be careful out there. There's so many deceivers and liars out there. It's crazy. But that's what I got for you now, folks. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, stay in Christ and um, do good. Uh, thank you all. Love you and agape.